Ryan Gass here, ptpgun.com, firearms training of the day. We're going to be unboxing this ATM Thor 4. This is their Smart HD Thermal Rifle Scope, and we're going to mount it to this AF-15 5.56 upper receiver. All right, so we're going to unbox this. Got the instructional manual. All right, as you'll see here, we have the uh, rifle scope itself. It looks like right here we have a protective case that can go on to it can go inside of. Here we have the scope rings for mount it to the uh, the receiver on the AR. Uh, looks like a power charging cable for our extended our extended battery. We have the uh, eye relief here, eye, eye cup. Let's go ahead and get the uh, scope itself out. Let me set this box aside. All right. Definitely tell this is not your usual scope. All right, this is the front end, this is the rear end. So we have, uh, it comes with this um, rubber eye cup and uh, this just actually just screws right into the rear. Uh, it also comes with these 30 millimeter uh, scope rings. All right, and we'll mount, again, we'll use that to mount to the, uh, the AR-15 upper receiver itself. Uh, it comes with this um, one as well, but we're not gonna actually use this, all right? And uh, again, the, the charging cord, all right? So um, again, how it'll be laid out, here in a moment we're gonna mount it, <clears throat> but it'll end up mounting like that, right there. And we're gonna have the, uh, we're gonna have to adjust and figure out exactly how we wanna have it set. Uh, how far forward or not, but it's gonna be setting on the Air 15 upper receiver right here. All right, so, all right, so we're gonna disassemble the scope rings, get the tops off. So we got the scope rings that were provided by ATM. We have the, the bases of them mounted to the rifle. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is kind of half-ass mount the scope and, um, and mount the, the tops of those rings on there. And I'm gonna double check to make sure that I had the proper eye relief uh, for the scope. This uh, ATM recommends three inch eye relief for this scope. So we're going to uh, make sure that we have that proper uh, eye relief there, so. All right, so I'll we'll go ahead and install my uh, provided rubber eye cup, and then I'm gonna uh, mount the upper receiver to the lower receiver and double check my eye relief. So eye relief is the, the space between the rear lens of your scope and your eye. And if you don't have a proper eye relief, that can give you a hard time and try to get proper sight alignment and sight picture. Uh, having the proper eye relief will make sure that you have a uh, a full image of what you actually should be seeing through your scope. Uh, just because you can see through your scope doesn't mean that you have proper eye relief. Again, that's very important that you have that. And again, based on what ATN is recommending with this, the eye relief for this is three inches. All right, so we checked the eye relief and eye relief is good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and finish tightening down the screws for the scope rings. In uh, checking over the uh, unit whatnot, we actually uh, opened up the side where the SD card goes in. And before we could put one in, we actually found that there was one in there. It's a SanDisk Ultra Plus 32 gigabyte. Not sure that it comes with it or, or how that ended up in there. Uh, but we actually had a hard time getting it out. Um, I'll go ahead and show you that more or less now. All right, so when you put the SD card in, it actually has a hard time getting in. And you just lightly put it in. Right, and it doesn't have that um, that kind of pushback and stuff where it kind of clicks in place like you usually would with SD card. Uh, and when you try to get it out, it won't come out. So what we had to do is we had to get this little screwdriver, undo these screws right here. Let me lay this out so we don't lose these. And we're gonna pull this out, up out of here. 
right? Because it's got a little tension, I guess, inside that little slot, and it holds the card in. So we're gonna push down the card, and that clicks out. So I think the fault when it comes to the SD card having a hard time coming out, it's because that slot inside there, right? It is uh, it's a little bit too tight for whatever reason. It doesn't look like it should be, but it is. So I'm gonna reinstall this, right? When I reinstall this, I'm gonna put that down there. All right, take a screw. Lightly tighten these down. Confirm. Until we get this, you know, defect, I guess, addressed uh, with ATN, every time I go to take out the SD card, I'm going to have to use a screwdriver to take these screws out and get that piece off so we can get the SD card out. So that's obviously gonna be a problem, uh, but we're working with ATN, hopefully get that all fixed up. I'll let you know how that goes with their customer service. Uh, I'm sure they'll do fine, but we'll, we'll find out firsthand, and I'll let you guys know about that for sure. All right, so I'm gonna close that back up. All right, and then here is actually a charging port you can plug in to the wall, or uh, we're gonna actually use a ex extended uh, battery on the outside. Uh, which is actually what you can use and we're going to figure out a way to rig it up uh, we're going to see how other people do it too but uh, you can actually hunt with this battery pack hooked up so you don't uh, you know you don't run out of battery power overnight and stuff you're out there hunting like, for you know several hours at a time and uh, so i'm not sure on how great the battery life is by itself without this but this will make sure that we don't have to worry about that at all so um, the first night or two, we'll probably test it out without the battery pack, and we'll see how many hours we get on a full charge. Uh, and we'll email you know, on that, but also we'll try to see how long this will last with it plugged in as well, too. Uh, it's always a good uh, purchase thing to think about. All right, so now we've got that charging, all right, and we're going to let that sit for a little bit. All right, so I had to get the Obsidian app, which I'll show you what that looks like. Obsidian AT4 Thor. So I'm gonna get this app right here. I already downloaded it, so I'm gonna open that. All right, when I go into there, it's gonna ask me to turn off mobile uh, data. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna turn this mobile data off. I'm gonna go back, connect my device. All right, and hit uh, Wi-Fi. And it's connecting now to the uh, Thor 4, all right. So I'm gonna go back here, all right, I'm back in the app, access that, and from here I can change a lot of different settings, all right, including uh, how the, um, the color, color pattern that it displays shows up, and it shows all the different versions, all right, which I'm gonna go with Fusion. Uh, I can change the contrast, the thermal sensitivity, uh, and whatnot. I can turn the microphone on or off, I can format the SD card, it can have recoil activated uh, video, um, brightness, all the different stuff. Um, uh, the mill dots versus MOA, right? And uh, the mill dot intervals, right? Go ahead and choose that. All right, might have a device type, which is dictated by the uh, the device, and you can find that on the outside of the box, all right? 1.25 by 5, uh, firmware and whatnot. Now I'm going to go, I can show environmental. Uh, uh, you know, things that go into the ballistic calculator, right? And it's telling you the readings inside here right now. Uh, profiles, you have different profiles if varying on which gun I have this mounted to. So this is the one profile I'm using right now. And I can do, a sh I have a shot count for that as well. All right, reticle style, right? It can, I can change the different reticle styles. So right now it's, it's giving me a live view of what it sees, all right? Uh, but I can change the reticle style, all right? I think I'm actually going to go with this one right here. Eh, I'm going to go right there. All right? I can change the color of the reticle from red, orange, yellow, green, blue. It's pretty cool. I'm going to keep it on red, though. All right? um, I can have a, a live viewfinder. So someone could be with me while I'm hunting, and they can see exactly what I see through my scope right here. So you can see we have Che out there. All right? And actually, what I'm going to do while we have this opportunity, I'm going to show you the different uh, views that it has as well. So, I'm going to go back to Steps and Settings, Color Platelets, all right, change it to the glow. All right, you can see how it changed it, all right. I'm going to go back, change it again. White Hot is what a lot of people like to choose. So, you can see how those different views are. It's pretty cool. 
Um, I'm gonna go back. Uh, green hot. All right, and then um, also we can see our gallery. So anything I've been recording, we can see right here. All right, so I can actually go back right now and let's see if I can hit record. So I can zoom in if I need to. All right, let's see if I can record now. All right, so it's recording. Chase moving. All right, doing his thing. All right, and then we can go back and we can see this in here. Let's see, let me unrecord. We can just see the video that we just made. It should be this one right here. You can actually hear it has audio too. Now, as you notice, I gotta go ahead and I go in there and change the settings because it's got the uh, wrong time and date and stuff. So I'm gonna have to set that and adjust that. Uh, but it's pretty neat that I can be able to use this uh, to show you know different people from different hunts about you know how things went down and stuff. Everyone's always got that one friend that wants to bullshit you about you know what they saw, what they heard, what they felt, the shots that they placed, and, and how everything went. Well, this can actually you know you can call their bluff on it. So this would be pretty cool. That I'm gonna be able to use this when we post onto uh, YouTube uh, from the different hunts we're gonna be doing, and we'll be doing that here soon. So be on the lookout for that as well. All right, so we got everything ready and set up for the range. Uh, we're gonna put our protective cover on there and stuff while I put this in the truck. And uh, we're gonna head to the range now and see how it performs and show you how we zeroed this, uh, this optic.